this isn't scripted, so I might sound a little bit awkward. Um, I've been doing devotionals ever since I started my YouTube channel, so I decided to switch it up a little bit. So today, I'm going to be giving you five tips on reading and studying your Bible. Now, I believe that reading your Bible is for anyone, and so this video is for anyone who would like to listen and who would like these tips. Tip number one, pray before you start reading and pray when you finish reading. I think that this is really important because you want to start with a positive attitude and a ready mind for studying God's word. Not praying before you read the Bible is like going into somebody's house but not even saying hello to them. It's awkward and kind of weird. So I believe that if you pray before you read the Bible, God will fill you with his Holy Spirit and help you to focus and to get a good message. Tip number two, have your pencil and ruler ready. I think this is really important because if you see a piece of writing that you like from the Bible, you'd want to underline it. It's also really helpful to write notes in the margins of what you were thinking when you read this verse. That way, you can turn back and remember all the things that you thought and all the things that you read. Tip number three, start reading a book that is easy for you to understand. There are many books in the Bible, 66 to be exact, but which one do you start reading? I remember when I started reading the Old Testament, it was kind of confusing and didn't really give me much of a message. I'm not saying that the Old Testament is not full of wise words, but it was just a little bit hard for me to understand. Then, somebody suggested to me that I go to the Gospels. I thought that was a good idea and started reading them. The Gospels are really straightforward and easy to understand. If you're a beginner Bible reader, I would definitely suggest the Gospels. Tip four. Make a certain time for you to read the Bible every day. Reading the Bible daily is really important because it gets you in the habit of doing it. You'll be looking forward to spending your time with God. I would suggest to pick a time each day where you can sit down and read the Bible in peace and quiet. Finally, the last tip. Tip five, no distractions. Having a phone or another device nearby will make it really hard to focus when you're trying to read the Bible. Sometimes family members can get loud too. Make sure you read at a time where nobody can bother you. I'd also suggest putting your devices and media aside so that you won't be distracted. It's really hard to get a message from God's word if you keep thinking about when your friend will text you or when you can get back to your video game or when your phone's going to ring. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that these tips can help you in some way and maybe even bring you closer to God. In no way am I trying to brag or say that I'm better than other people. I've just learned these things from my own experience and would like to share them with you. I hope you have an awesome day. Happy Bible reading.